These are our top stories. President Obama will announce on Monday what he says is the most important step America has ever taken to combat climate change. The proposals to cut greenhouse gas emissions go further than had been expected. But the plans face furious opposition from the president's political opponents and from energy companies. From Washington, here's our correspondent, Tom Bateman. The US Secretary of State John Kerry is visiting Egypt as Washington seeks to bolster its longtime ally in the face of the rising threat from the so-called Islamic State group. Mr Kerry paid tribute to Cairo's role in combating extremists, but he also warned that neglecting human rights risked alienating young people and driving them into the arms of militants. Malaysia has asked islands in the Indian Ocean to be on the lookout for more possible debris after a wing part suspected from being from the missing Malaysia flight MH370 came ashore. The Malaysia Airlines plane vanished last year with 239 people on board. Our correspondent Karen Allen reports now from Reunion where the wreckage washed up. A teenager who was attacked at a gay pride march in Jerusalem last week has died from her injuries. The girl and five other people were stabbed by an ultra-Orthodox Jewish man as they took part in Thursday's parade. The Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, called the suspected attacker despicable. Katerina Mo reports. She was described as the queen of British show business. The much-loved singer and entertainer Cilla Black has died at the age of 72 at her home in Spain. In a lengthy career, she moved from recording artist to television superstar, becoming one of the most popular figures in light entertainment. Our arts correspondent, David Silito, looks back at the life and achievements of Cilla Black. Cilla Black, who's died at the age of 72. Please do stay with us here on BBC News. Still to come... Hello again, you're watching BBC News with me, Daniela Retorto. The latest headlines. And John, Bronwyn Bishop, not only did she not want to resign, she didn't even want to apologise for a few weeks going there. This week, the city of Hiroshima is marking 70 years since the world's first atomic bomb was dropped by American pilots, pilots in the fight against Japan in the Second World War. 80,000 people died instantly. In the first of a series of special films on how Hiroshima is marking the anniversary, the BBC's Rupert Wingfield Hayes has taken a journey on a tram that survived the bomb. Rupert Wingfield Hayes reporting there. The King of Saudi Arabia has cut short his holiday on the French Riviera. King Salman sparked anger on the Côte d'Azur, Netherlands, Germany and Canada. It shows all of us humans aren't so bad. Fantastic story and thank you very much for explaining to us uh, Hitchbot and I hope you do well in uh, your recreation uh, of him. Thanks very much Frau Kozella there for us in Toronto. And uh, that's it from us uh, for this edition of BBC News. You can get in touch with me on Twitter at Daniela Retorto. We'll see you again very soon. Bye bye. BBC News. Next on BBC News, it's time now for Hard Talk. Hello and welcome to BBC News, broadcasting at home and around the globe. I'm Daniela Retorto. Our top story. Thank you for joining us. The World Anti-Doping Agency says it's very alarmed by claims that cheating may have been rife at some of the world's biggest athletics events. The results of blood tests from 5,000 athletes have been obtained by the UK Sunday Times and the German broadcaster ARD. The results suggest that there may have been an extraordinary level of cheating between 2001 and 2012. Here's our sports editor, Dan Rowan. President Obama will announce on Monday what he says is the most important step America has ever taken to combat climate change. The proposals to cut greenhouse gas emissions go further than had been expected. But the plans face furious opposition from the president's political opponents and from energy companies. From Washington, here's our correspondent, Tom Bateman. The US Secretary of State John Kerry is visiting Egypt as Washington seeks to bolster its longtime ally in the face of the rising threat from the so-called Islamic State group. Mr Kerry paid tribute to Cairo's role in combating extremists, but he also warned that neglecting human rights risked alienating young people and driving them into the arms of the militants. 
Malaysia has asked islands in the Indian Ocean to be on the lookout for more possible debris after a wing part suspected from, of being from the missing flight MH370 came ashore. The Malaysia Airlines plane vanished last year with 239 people on board. Our correspondent Karen Allen now reports from Reunion where the wreckage washed up. She was described as the queen of British show business. The much-loved singer and entertainer Cilla Black has died at the age of 72 at her home in Spain. In a lengthy career, she moved from recording artist to television superstar, becoming one of the most popular figures in light entertainment. Our arts correspondent David Silito looks back at the life and achievements of Cilla Black. Cilla Black, who died at the age of 72. A state of emergency has been declared in four regions of Myanmar as the annual monsoon season brings floods and landslides. That was Ben Rich from the BBC Weather Centre. Do stay with us here on BBC News. Still much more to come. Hello and welcome to BBC News, broadcasting at home and around the globe. I'm Daniela Ritorto. Our top stories.